A big thank you goes out to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. If you're in the market for a professional looking all-in-one platform for your website, look no further. Squarespace has all of the tools that you need and will have you up and running in no time. So we're in uh, Carmana Provincial Park again, uh, proper, just heading down. There's a quite a steep uh, trail that goes down to the, the valley bottom, and there's a, a river down here, and this is where the, all the old growth trees are. And uh, as always, it's uh, it's really beautiful in here. The light is, is, is really quite special right now because uh, there's a lot of moisture in the air. It poured with rain last night and this morning. So we have a little bit of uh, fog happening, atmospheric fog, which is really nice. Like behind, if you can look behind me here, uh, you can just see it kind of has a bit of a misty feel to it. But as always, you know, the hard part is is trying to portray these very large trees in a way that, you know, so that you can see that they're large. Uh, we have all these beautiful mosses and uh, ferns and and shrubs and, and all these different shades of green uh, but it's uh it's hard to uh kind of portray those those different shades and tonalities like this section behind me here right now the light is just just beautiful you got a little bit of side lighting on the on the trees uh, but how can you translate that into a into a photograph without making it just look like a bunch of trees. <laughs> I guess the trick is, is, is how do you portray this forest in a way that separates it from other forest images that you might have? And, you know, what, you know, portraying it in a way that says to people, wow, that's old growth forest on the west coast of Vancouver Island, rather than, well, that's just old growth forest somewhere in the world. Okay, so since we've been hiking down, like last time we were here, we kind of went to the uh, the west, I believe it is, or the south, and now this time we're hiking to the north side of the park. And uh, the light is really, uh, as I said, it's, it's really beautiful right now, but the sun is trying to come out, so I'm not sure how much time we're going to have before the sun gets too harsh. But this, this is the kind of light that I really like for forest photography. You get that really light overcast. So you're not getting direct sunlight, but you get nice soft light. And uh, because there's still a little bit, bit of um, direct light coming through, uh, it creates nice textures and shadows. If it's too dark, then I just find that there's very little difference between the shadows and the highlights, uh, if that makes sense. Like. As an example, um, the trees behind me here, I don't know if you can see this, there's a, sorry, there's a, a big Sitka spruce, uh, I think it's this, this one here. You can see that it has um, really nice shading uh, depth to it, even though the light is uh, overcast. And of course it, it keeps changing, like every now and then it'll 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 feel like it gets darker and then it gets brighter. So I'm guessing that the clouds are moving through. I was hoping for uh, some fog in the valley here, but as usual, every time I come here, there's fog up high, but as soon as you get into the dense forest here, um, it, you don't get very much fog at all. I'm sure it happens every now and then, but uh, 
Yeah, not today, I don't think. There is a river down here, so that might be affecting the uh, the fog. Okay, so one of the things that I really love about uh, photographing in the forest here is all the, the green ferns, the different types of ferns. We have deer fern, and then we have uh, sword ferns, bracken ferns. Uh, what I really like uh, about this scene here, we have this wonderful fern growing at the base of this tree here. So Jeremy was taking photographs of uh, the fern with the trail uh, kind of leading in the background, which I, I really quite like, but I didn't want to copy him. So I, I just took some shots of the, uh, the fern on its own uh, with the surrounding foliage. Now I did use a polarizer and I, I took some images without a polarizer as well. To be honest with you, I really like uh, the sheen on a, a lot of foliage. It, it's, I know to my eye it gives it a lot of depth, but uh, usually the case is, you know, I, I get the images back and I usually prefer the ones where I've used the polarizer. It just really saturates the colors nicely and gets rid of some of that unwanted sheen. Uh, but sometimes I, I don't know, I, I really like it. Like the sword ferns down here on the, uh, down at the base here, uh, they have a, such a beautiful sheen to them, gives them dimension and shape. Uh, anyway, I took the shot. Um, I'm not sure if it'll work. It was just a, you know, it's just a, a nice study of green against green. <laughs> Now the clouds are still moving in a little bit, uh, but the light isn't too bad. There's certain sections of the forest that you can look for where you can kind of hide any harsh light. And that's kind of the case with the, this grove of uh, Sitka spruce here. Uh, this is a really great uh, situation because we have four or five uh, Sitka and you can kind of line them up so that you don't get any harsh light in the background. And they have some nice sword ferns in, in the, uh, at the base of them. So it gives the trees a little bit of scale. So I'm not sure if you can see this. So there's, uh, there's uh, four Sitka spruce right here. And then in the background, they line it up here, about here. There's actually uh, a huge Sitka spruce that's, that's died, but it's got a lot of fungi growing up the, up the, the old trunk there. So you can really kind of just fill the frame with all trees, different uh, textures of trees and, and slightly different colors. The ones in the, in the foreground, they have quite a bit of moss on them, so they're quite green. And then there's um, some more browner tones or golden tones in the background, which is quite nice. But uh, yeah, the light is actually pretty good right now. So I'm gonna get set up here. I've taken some over the side here and Jeremy was taking some right here. I'm going to see if I can get something similar. I, um, if I go down low, then I get rid of some of the ferns in the, in the background. I just want it to be kind of a, a, a pattern of trees and then a hint of the, uh, of the ferns in the, in the foreground. Keep it really simple. Uh, that seems to be the order of the day. Again, a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I should mention that I've been using Squarespace for about a year now and haven't been disappointed. 
I find the website templates attractive and professional looking. Squarespace also offers a plethora of options that are intuitive to use, especially for old crusty photographers like me who don't have a clue about coding or setting up a website. So if you're in the market for a website that will showcase your photographic masterpieces in an elegant and functional way, then you should really check out Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And if you like what you find, go to squarespace.com forward slash Adam Gibbs for 10% off your first purchase. That's right. Squarespace.com forward slash Adam Gibbs for 10% off your first purchase. Well, that wasn't a, a bad day. It started off pouring rain and now it's, uh, it's cleared right up. It is quite hazy though. Uh, so I took a, took a couple of images, uh, not, a, not an awful lot. We spent a lot of time hanging around in that one area just waiting for the light, but it was a really pleasant uh, place to hang out. So we've come to our little campground here and uh, if you really check this campground out, it's uh, absolutely spectacular. I've been here a few times now so here's uh, the camper van and then we've gone right to the end of the road so this is kind of the backdrop to our uh, our location spectacular so this whole area here is coastline and uh, that's the uh, the west coast trail so you get a pretty good panoramic view of the whole scene uh, this is all cut block, so it's been logged, but over in that section over there, it hasn't been logged. That's all part of the Pacific Rim uh, National Park. So uh, there's quite a bit of old growth forest left in there. But uh, yeah, it's really spectacular. So I think if the sun goes down, we might get a bit of color. Uh, these layers of hillsides with the, uh, the trees on might be really nice with a long telephoto. The only problem is, is that uh, I forgot my long telephoto so I'm just going to have to watch Jeremy take images with his, uh, with his cannon. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, Adam. What's Gavin doing this weekend? Uh, I don't know. He talked about having his hair done or his chest waxed or something. Good morning, everybody. Day two of our trip to uh, Kamano Provincial Park. Now then, uh, last night was absolutely beautiful. Uh, the, the campsite that we had, the, clear, uh, the, the clouds totally cleared up and uh, had some beautiful stars over the ocean there. Now, as most of you know, I'm not really into astro that much, so I just enjoy the stars. Uh, you know, just stand or sit beneath the stars and enjoy them that way. Um, now, this morning, we've come back uh, to where we were yesterday, which is in the, the old growth forest, and um, the it's really quite clear out today there's no clouds but there's a lot of fog around so we've gotten up pretty early it's i think it's around 6 6 30 and we're kind of hoping that there might be a little bit of fog in the valley and uh as the sun comes up maybe we'll get some beams of light and stuff like that but i'm not terribly optimistic that the fog will be that low but you never know, I've been wrong before. Jeremy thinks that there'll be fog. Uh, I'm not, I'm not convinced. He's, he's, he's calling me grumpy this morning because I'm not very optimistic. <laughs> well, it looks like uh, Uncle Grumpy was maybe wrong and Auntie Happy was right. Uh, Jeremy's like a, a kid in a candy store. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's quickened the pace. <laughs> yeah, the, 
there is some atmospheric uh, fog down here. I just hope that um, there's quite a bit of fog at the bottom of this valley. This valley is quite deep, so uh, don't need much uh, mist. Just need a little bit to uh, just to help with the separation and give it a, a bit more atmosphere. So we got down to the valley floor and unfortunately we didn't quite get the fog that we wanted. The problem with this area is that uh, it's really dense forest so it's, it's really hard for the fog to, to penetrate. Now there is a, uh, a river right just beyond the, this uh, fringe of forest here and you can see there's quite a bit of fog back there so the light is reasonably soft. The light is just coming over the mountains in the background here. So there's beautiful backlighting in here, but you gotta be careful because the highlights are so much brighter than the, uh, the shadows. So what I'm doing is exposing for the brightest uh, spots of the trees, and then everything else will be really dark shadow. And then I'm also taking a few shots uh, for the shadows, just in case I need to combine them later on in, in Photoshop. Oh, I guess you could do it in Lightroom too. You could just combine them into a, a, a high dynamic range image and then fiddle with them that way. I mean, to the eyes, it looks stunning, but you know, it's, uh, it's a little tricky. The light's a little tricky. Now looking this way, if I turn around here, um, the light, I mean, it, it looks beautiful to the eyes, but there's just so many different areas where there's highlights and shadows that uh, I think it would be too busy. So I find that if I'm photographing forests and uh, there is direct sunlight, then I usually try to get some backlighting. Seems to work, it's the most dramatic and it just looks so, so nice, but it doesn't last very long. I think our time here is almost up, unless we can find an area where there's a lot more uh, fog to kind of subdue that light, then uh, like I'm looking down, down here and there's really thick fog right along the river there, so maybe we can walk out to the, the river and find something out there. Or maybe even some kind of beams of light coming through the forest. <laughs> Okay, I keep coming back to the same uh, scene over and over again. Uh, I, I tend to do that. I, I get infatuated with one scene and I just keep trying to perfect it. I've photographed this before, uh, probably about 10, well, maybe, yeah, probably about 10 years ago now. And uh, I'm still going after the same composition. I mean, I liked the image that I took 10 years ago. I think what I like about this scene and it's just the subtlety of light. Uh, we have rim lighting on the sides of these, uh, these Sitka spruce here. And what I like about it is just so simple. And it's really hard to find simple compositions in, in a forest. We have the sword ferns at the base of the, the trees here. 
So that adds a little bit of interest and you can kind of gives it a little bit of scale, I guess. And then we just have this V groove that's filled with uh, three or four Sitka spruce and that's it. And, uh, you know, again, it's just about the light. Now the, the images that I took yesterday, I quite like, but I think I'm going to prefer these. It's just that the, the light is just so, so much more subtle, just right on the edges there. And actually one of them here, if I line it up properly, it's just getting a little hint of direct sunlight. So it kind of gives it a pinpoint of, uh, you know, like a specular highlight draws your attention straight to that spot and then the rest of it just kind of falls into place that's the way i see it anyway and then also that at the top here in the middle of the groove there's uh there's a branch hanging down and every now and then the light will catch that so that adds a little bit more interest as well and of course if there's areas that need a little bit more light or less light then you can always dodge and burn a little bit to, to bring those out isn't that right, Jeremy? You folks thanks ever so much for watching this week's video it was certainly a very long one so if you did make it to the end you either fell asleep or you really enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a big thumbs up and if you enjoy the content of my channel be sure to subscribe now then for the next few weeks uh, my videos might be a little bit uh, sporadic as I'll be away in the Rockies for several weeks so I'm not sure if I'll have a video out every week, but I will try. All right, everybody. Thanks again. Bye for now.